All right, so you guys have been asking about my new boat and the boat that I purchased is a Walker Bay 10. The boat that you see in my videos, the small boat is the Walker Bay 8. So I'm gonna show you both boats and we can kind of do a comparison and you can see what I've done to the old boat versus what the new boat looks like when it's stripped down to bare bones. So let me show you the boats. All right, so this is the Walker Bay 8. And you see right off the bat, you can see I put some rod holders on it. There's four on there. And I padded the seats. I had stuffed it with foam just to give it extra buoyancy in case I ever took on water. And on this side, I put some drawers underneath for storage. That right there is actually a mount for a depth finder. And... I do have a depth finder for this boat. There's some uh, cleats. And those little those little uh, deals right there I used to hold an umbrella. And I have one. There's the one right there where the rag is. One here, there, and in the front. What I did is I drilled a, a hole through the the bottom of the base of the umbrella and I stick that pin in there keeps the keeps it in there keeps it the wind from blowing it away so this is the boat that I make all my videos in you saw that from my camera mount there in the other video to give you an idea of how big this boat is let's take a measure of it So we're looking at, oh, where are we? Just 99 and a half, maybe. 99 and a quarter. So just a little a bit over eight foot. Eight foot three is what they call it. And as you, as you can see on this boat, it has these little deals on the side where, where I put my Pringles all the time. <laughs> And this is uh, pretty much, pretty much my little boat that I take out in the river. Now the new boat, brand new. I've done nothing to it. When I bought it, it it didn't even have the seats put in or anything. So I did put the seats in it. I had to bolt them in in place, but that wasn't too big a deal. This one has a little drain plug on the bottom and the other one doesn't. And you can see it's got little built-in cup holders. This one doesn't have a place for me to put my Pringles so I'm not too excited about that. If you're wondering what that, hole, that cap is there, these things are designed for a sail. So you can, you can put your sail mast in there, and then in the back over here, you put your rudder. Pretty cool little boats. What I like about these boats is the weight capacity. That, you know, I think, let's see. I want to say 400 and 425 pounds or something like that. I don't remember, but something like that. And then the boat itself only weighs... That one, when it's just stripped down, it's 75 pounds, and this one here, I think it's a hundred, a little over 100 pounds. But it's perfect for what I do. Now, of course, I'm going to upgrade this boat. The one thing I didn't like is that it has that arch, and I know it's a better design. It gives it more stability or more support, but I can't put my drawers under there like I did in the other boat. So I'll have to figure something out. Maybe just a little tackle box to carry around. But uh, that, that's no big deal. So I've already got a couple goodies going here. I just got this shipment in. Ordered some monster rod holders. And we'll do the same operation. I'll put these in the corners of the, of the boat and two up in the front. 
And one thing that I can't go without, and I, on the last boat, or my old boat, I put probably about an inch and a half padding on the seats. This one. We're doing high density, four inch padding, so. <laughs> So when I'm out there in the middle of the river, in the middle of nowhere, man, I'll be comfortable at least. I spent, <laughs> spent hours at Joanne's Fabric trying to pick a color. For the seat covers. But I finally came out with this royal blue. Which I think is going to look pretty cool. That blue and this white, I think they'll go together and it look nice. So I'm going to do a few upgrades on this boat and I'll keep you guys posted on, on what I've done to it. I'll save you all the heartache of watching me cut and attempt to sew all this stuff and all that, but uh, I'll just kind of show you as I go, go along what I've done to it. So the length of the new boat is 9 foot 9 inches, which is, uh, they call it a 10, Walker Bay 10, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted on what I'm doing, and as always, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.